So today, the Blues have the chance to reclaim top spot once again. If they can overcome a Fulham side who sits seventh above the likes of Liverpool and Brighton, and to arrive here unbeaten in four, and with a growing sense of genuine belief that this season will be a great deal more than just simply one of consolidation following their promotion. It's building steadily. Now Grealish wide on the left-hand side, up against Tete. Cuts in field, lays it off to De Bruyne. De Bruyne tries to slip it through the gap, it's a good ball. Joao Cancelo clips in across, it comes across to Bernardo Silva. He puts it in again, it's palmed away. City still have it in the penalty area. And this is a good start from the Blues, keeping Fulham in deep inside their own penalty area. And now the Blues have ended up with a goal kick, but it was a really good spell of penalty. And it's, it's far too easy, far too easy, Ali. Again, you know, if I was on the, on the sideline with Fulham, I'd be worried already. Their back four is so narrow, their spaces, they don't look as though there's a press. They don't look as though there's any depth to, to where they want to start. Um, and it's going to be a difficult afternoon if it stays like that because that's far too easy for City to get in that time. Rodri looks to the left and lays it out wide. He was fouled then, Rodri, by Pereira. And he's gone down in a heap. The referees allowed City to go on. It wasn't much of an advantage, if I'm being honest with you. And Rodri has still stayed down. And Pereira's challenge might end up with a caution. Indeed, it does. And an early booking for the former Manchester United midfielder for a late challenge that's left Rodri in a heap, Andy. We'd have to see it again. I think it's one of those ones where he's just got to try and nick it. And Rodri's got rid of the ball just a split second before he's released it. And he's just caught him, I'd imagine, on the top of the foot. Um, and these can be very painful. Rodri along to Gundogan. City coming forward. De Bruyne now midway inside the Fulham half. Tries a shot! Great save, really good crisp hit by Kevin De Bruyne and parried away by Bert Leonard. Yeah, brilliant. Just broke the line, Gundo and found himself in that little pocket which is so hard to mark. Here they come with Gundo into the gap, lovely one, Alvarez, one on one, scores! Wonderful hit by Julian Alvarez. Erling Haaland's deputy. Well, I tell you what, he's picked up some of those lovely habits and he's rifled City in front with a rasping drive off the underside of the bar. City one, Fulham nil. Fantastic. Did we just speak a couple of minutes ago about Gundogan in them pockets? Just in between the lines, he's found it again, managed to turn, play a forward pass and Fulham really are struggling. We'll just find this little interception here. They move the ball, and it's just this little break of play. They keep it moving in there, breaks through, and that's far too easy against any team. To slip that ball with that much time, and then a fabulous finish. Just put your foot through it. <laughs> Don't complicate it. I think all three were just about offside, and then one of those three, John Stones, put in the rebound. And, oh, and all of a sudden, Wilson's in the gap. That's really well played by Joao Cancelo. No, it's not. Referee says penalty. Joao Cancelo says, no, it's a shoulder charge. Kevin De Bruyne and one or two other City players are coming backwards and saying, how can that be a penalty? There was a one-on-one. -on -one. Wilson went into the box, and the referee has gone to his pocket and sent off Joao Cancelo as the last man. Real controversy at the Etihad Stadium. The referee blows his whistle, Pereira steps up and fires the penalty into the net and Fulham, although they've not deserved it, are level at the Etihad and they're up against ten men, Andy. Yeah, and now we have game on. You know, there's got to be great character shown by City now. It was a red card, you know, I've got to agree with the referee. Um, and now it's a big ask. I think there's a lot of frustration out there, but got to get our minds back on the game now. Rodri slips a lovely ball through to Ake. Ake.
Ake on to Alvarez. Alvarez comes forward for City. City will build break here with numbers. On it goes to Grealish. Grealish attacking Tete. Grealish with the shot. Wide. Good effort. Really good play from City. On it goes towards Harrison Reed. Reed now clips it forward and Harry Wilson gives chase and he's got pace and he's through. Oh, he's drilled it well wide. That was pretty ordinary, I have to say, from Harry Wilson. He's a better player than that. He went well wide of the goal. Yeah, terrific ball. I think he was just offside. Two substitutions, two front men coming on with ten men. Fantastic courage. So one of the players coming off is Jack Grealish. So Grealish comes off and the other one is Alvarez, who's actually worked very, very hard. So Phil Foden comes on for Grealish and Erling Haaland comes on for Julian Alvarez. Two very positive changes made by Pep Guardiola. Back it goes to Akanji in the centre circle, on it goes to Rodri, 17 minutes to go, City 1, Fulham 1, Rodri done well, into the gap for De Bruyne, De Bruyne clips it, he's hit it too hard, will they get it away through Robinson, they do, City will not get to this, and now there's a counter attack on with Pereira, Akanji wins it back, brilliant from Akanji, on it goes, that was a late challenge on Akanji, ball with De Bruyne though, left position, plays it in, You cannot believe what you're watching. The 10 men of City, barring a VAR check for a potential offside, have just hit the front through Erling Haaland. I'll listen out to see if VAR are intervening. Andy, describe what we've just it's seen. It's absolutely phenomenal from De Bruyne. It's just whether Haaland drifted offside. They're still checking, they're still checking, it's still not a goal, and offside, offside is the call. Well, that is bizarre. I don't believe that you can score with your hand, Andy, can you? I didn't, I didn't want to celebrate because I, the, the, it looked so, so close. Rodri gets to the loose one, thumps it into the sky, up towards Foden. Foden with Tete behind him, still wins it. Haaland with the layoff. Foden now has it. On it goes to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva, can he get the cross right? It's too heavy. Cleared by Robinson, gathered in by De Bruyne. De Bruyne's brought down! Penalty! De Bruyne turned! He drew the challenge! Robinson went in! Penalty kick! Drama at the end. Can we celebrate when the penalty's taken? Because at the moment we've got to compose ourselves. Everything that they've done in this second half has deserved this moment. Now let's go and clean it. Let's go and get what you deserve for an unbelievable courage in this second half. Haaland breathes in deeply. He places the ball down carefully. He looks up. There are two or three City players not wanting to watch. Haaland again places it on the spot. He's being careful. He's breathing in. He's now taking a run-up. Erling Haaland, can he win it for City? Erling Haaland! <laughs> Need I say more? Can Listen I to the Etihad Stadium! There are some victories that you reflect upon at the end of the season and you say that that was the day we won the Premier League title. When City pick up the title in May, this is the day they'll look at as the big turning point.